Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is one of one, but you can call me seven. Strap yourselves in because we're back for a relaxing time, or maybe not so relaxing, in what remains of Edith Finch. We're gonna see what's going on with Milton. Um, and also, I did some research. Not, I, I managed not to spoil it myself, obviously, because that would really suck, but I did find out that it's possible to miss characters. It is possible to miss members of the Finch family, and that worries me. <laughs> I would like to have gotten through all of the normal content in one playthrough, but if any of you know if I've missed anything up to this point, please tell me. Because I don't want to just leave that out of the playthrough. I'll do my own searching, but also I'm, I'm, I'm up here. It's kind of hard to go back, especially when Edith only walks and doesn't jog or run. But anyway, let's just get into Milton's story. All right, Milton. Milton Finch in the magic- Milton Finch in Sorry, the magic paintbrush. Is it gonna be like a flip book? Yeah. What a cool f what a Oh man, I love these things. A chew, sneeze. Oh. What is he? Oh, oh, oh. Milton? What are you doing, buddy? That's it? Oh, I guess we don't know. I was four when Milton disappeared. Wow, that's the shortest one. Oh, and I guess that's the magic paintbrush, huh? Is there? Can we see the doorway where it happened? Somehow he—he he just disappeared. I don't understand. It was so short. All right, down we go. Mom spent months searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. Yeah, well, I can imagine it would... Oh. Well, there it is. I couldn't even really tell that was a door before, but maybe I just wasn't looking closely enough. I think enough. Edie was happy to finally have another painter in the family. Oh, well, I already saw these. Already. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. Oh, jeez. This house is ominous. I don't like it. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. Oh. Poor guy. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room. Until Mom got him a job at the cannery. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. I see. Lewis, 1988 to 2010. Everyone always told me to stay out of Lewis's room. Oh. Except Lewis. <laughs> Did he... Oh, I see. It literally says legalize marijuana in the corner there. <laughs> oh, man. This was an escape from his brother's death. Or rather, disappearance. <laughs> oh, God. Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. <sighs> that part of him lived on. <laughs> this guy's got some retro stuff. Well, I guess, I guess he was born in 1988, so it makes sense. Um, well, let's have a look then. Let's see here. Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. Cute. He died a lot. Fun, even, I'd say. High school diploma. Orcas High, high School... Uh, Orcas Island Regional High School. Okay. So he did graduate. Lewis Finch Locker Contents. Don Finch. So it's to... It's to, to his mother. Our mother. Let's see here. Institute of Psychology. Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Oh, whoa! Newly sober, oh. I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. He kept working at the cannery. Okay. But he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, oh I saw the same behavior. This would suck. I His would not want to do this. Began to... I began to... What are we doing? Oh. Oh, no. I don't know. Wonder. Oh! Oh, 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 okay. 
What the? This is really weird. I asked him to describe it. <laughs> We're trying to control both at the same time. He said he started small. Imagining a labyrinth. Okay, nothing over there. He'd feel his way about. Then something moved. Bats. Oh. And oh, toads. Oh. Oh. And things that have not names. Oh. Okay. He knew it was all in his head. But he took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. What? Wait, what? How did I end up outside? Huh? Guys, I don't think I'm supposed to be out here. Um... Um, hold on. Hold on, I think I need to restart the game. Okay. I Yeah, I glitched out last time, for sure. Let me light the... But he found something more. I worried about him then. Daydreaming at the cannery. Is he gonna get hurt somehow? I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Had he now? Methodical, tireless, focused. Focused, huh? Like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. This is really concerning. I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. He told me he'd made a new friend. Doggo? A dog friend? I can't get On the edge there. of a city he named Lewis Topia. Oh, okay. <laughs> he built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Okay. Then he made musicians. Lewis? songs for them to play. Guys. I'm concerned he talked for this about guy. Starting a band. Yeah, he's he got a tuba. Something. Got Every so many people around. Grew stronger. Oh. Oh, I he see. He no longer spoke at the cannery. Always lost in his thoughts. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him that all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. Okay. So he could do whatever he wished. What does that mean? He held an election for mayor. And he won. Oh, nice Mario reference. <laughs> they begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. Whoa. New Louisville. Some bizarre gameplay. St. Louis. <laughs> he started drifting away from our reality. Minneapolis. 
Minneapolis. He forgot to go home from the cannery. Oh. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. Oh God. Oh God. He's just not Lewisburg, here. He heard rumors of a beautiful prince. Oh, is this Milton? Because he's a painter? The prince was on his own quest for Radiant Rainbows? I don't like Sinister Sturbins. Radiant Rainbows. Oh, hello. Oh. He followed the sound of his. Let's go with the harp We're on this side now. Silver harp. Where is this leading? His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Did he tell her all of this? Even then, his logic remained sound. He knew the world was all in his imagination. Guys, this is really hard and weird. But he was so proud of having created it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. His entire perspective is almost is almost this at this point. What are these Someone delusions? Never known success in the real world. I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. Oh God. It was hard to argue with him. Now we're just, oh, oh. Oh, oh! Are we in the cannery? That was a really cool transition, but also... Yeah, quite disorienting. Guy's just in his own head, huh? Well, here's... Lewis's stuff. More takeaway... Psychedelic things... He began to forget the world we know. Freaked me out a little bit. Oh, it did. I see. Is this kind of. Huh. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. Are we starting at work then? Like, is, is the day starting or. Oh, God. It's not nice work. He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. Oh, God. Okay. Where do we... Oh, we go up, right? Yeah. Oh, he's got the same... Yeah, he's got the same hair and the silhouette. I still thought I could save him. That's not something you Even want to say to a grieving he mother. He's being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. The palace would be packed with his companions. Right. Look at them go. They're all so. Can I wave? I wish I could wave. This is pretty fun, actually. 
Oh, there's a cat. Including the wise Calico who'd insisted on advising him. <laughs> oh, it's Molly the cat. I see. Hi, Molly. Okay, so... We're being crowned king, huh? His prince waited, holding his crown. This is ridiculous. There was only one thing left to do. Take his crown? But how did he die? Bend oh. down his head. I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. even a curse at this point or oh oh there's blood on his hat We're so high up at this point look Emily at this guys from Lewis's funeral my mom told me to start packing she waited until the day before we left to tell Edie oh get away from the house I I'm imagine not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder sure I wish we'd stayed. Packing peanuts? Oh, it's bubble wrap. It's bubble wrap. Miss all these missing posters from Milton. But I understand why we left. Don Finch. Edith. Mom. That's it. Just the two of them. My mom ended up leaving everything behind. Oh. Sure. I guess there's not much you can really take, huh? What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Maybe it should have come sooner. This is our room, isn't it? This is Edith's room. Oh, I don't know if I'm ready for this. Okay. But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. Oh, we're crawling. Yeah, nice little crawl space. Yeah, I think so. Pictures of family, a cozy little room in bed. All right, well, let's see what happens here then. A quill for writing. That whole last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific- I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last- I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. Where's my present? The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Oh, this wasn't the present. Or that Edie had a key to it. Okay, let's go in. So, we haven't 
been in here yet. The thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Is it? Is the house Edith associated with the curse? Right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Oh, okay. Oh my god. History of the Finches. Typewritered up and bound. Oh man. Dear Edith. Oh no, it's written. There's so many stories I wish I could tell you. But there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. Are we, are we, are we Edie? It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. Oh. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. I'm sure it did. You no, know, I've seen that house every day of my life. I never thought I'd go back to it. Why are you going when back, dude? When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. I got turned around. Oh. Well, it turned me around. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. I started seeing things. Oh, get me out. I can see vague things shapes. I'd forgotten had ever existed. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm not talking so much because uh, it's just but a lot when to process. I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night. A lot of things came back to me. Oh. Oh, are we here in the house? Or maybe I came back to them. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and- Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! M Mom, you're gonna rip it, let go! Are we gonna- I kicked yeah, and okay. screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. The next morning, the band came to pick her up, but she was already gone. After that, we moved around a lot. I was trying to run. I imagine. We both tried to make the best of it. A few years went by. You still lived? My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. Okay, cool. <coughs> The rest happened pretty quickly. She got better for a while, and then she didn't. And then I was alone. The last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, 
I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes and appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. Um. This journal was supposed to be for you. Um. But now I hope you'll never see it. Um. I just want to meet you and tell you all these stories myself. But I guess if you're reading this now, things didn't work out that way. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. Died in childbirth, huh? That's it, huh? That's it. Really. Hmm. Well, that sure has given me a, a little bit to think about. I don't know about you guys, but... was a little wild. Edith Finch team. 2012 to 2017. How cute. The end. Okay. The replay story option is now available. Select Edith to play from the beginning. Dang, that's really it? Okay, well, hey guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed that. I... I did! Um... I want to figure out the, if there's a deeper meaning behind this game. I don't feel necessarily lost on the story, just... It felt like an abrupt end. Regardless, it was interesting and um, another story has been told, so... I'll see you guys in the next video. So, for now... Have a good rest of your day, and I will see you soon. Bye!